Hey guys, in today's video we're going to answer a question. Can you use Apple Pages on Windows machine, on Chromebook, on any other non-Apple system? And the good news is, yes, you can and it's much easier now with a brand new iCloud version. So what you need to do, you need to simply open your web browser and head to iCloud dot com then you will need to sign in there's a sign in button at the center if you click on that they will ask you for your Apple ID and password and then you may think whoa I never use any Apple products so I cannot use it right you can you can create a free Apple ID just hit create Apple ID and it's not bound with any Apple products like iPhone iPads MacBooks it's the same way as you make a Gmail to use Google Mail or you make a Microsoft ID to access your OneDrive to web browser, okay? So you don't need to have any Apple device to create new Apple ID. All right, let me just quickly sign in. After I sign in, I will see my Apple ID dashboard like this. It can be customized, you can stick some apps around, but in general, you will have this a box with different web apps. So there are web-based apps that run directly in web browser. And surprise, surprise, pages, numbers, keynote. We got web-based version of those apps. So it's really similar to what you got in your Google Drive, right? You can open Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, directly in the web browser. Even in this little app shortcut, top right corner, that's very similar to what Google offer, right? You can click on that and you see your apps. In our case, today we wanna use the app Pages. All right, we can create a brand new document here. If you click this plus button, you'll create a new Apple Pages document directly in your web browser, even if you are on Windows or Chrome OS. You can also upload existing documents. So maybe somebody share with you a document from Apple Pages, but you are Windows user, not a problem now. You can just click upload and send this document here. It will appear on the list of your documents and then you can double click, open and edit that document. As I mentioned, the best part is it's fully fledged. So we got all the tools that you will normally expect from the desktop version. It's not just a preview, you can actually edit stuff. So you can type a new text, you can select a text, modify the style on the right side, you can change fonts and all of that stuff that you will normally expect from the full version of the software. That's great. Of course, there's table tool, chart tool, shape tool and all other tools at the very top. In addition, you can also add collaborators. As I mentioned, this is web-based app, so it's much easier to collaborate online on this. When you want to download or share this in the more classic manner, you can go back to iCloud pages and then you see your document on the list, right? Three dots over here will give you some options. You can duplicate document, delete, rename, collaborate with others, but you can also download a copy to your system. If you select that, they will ask you about format. So you can download this as a native Apple Pages document. You can export this to PDF, so everybody will be able to open and print this. Or you can get editable version for Microsoft Word. So that's really nice. They give us a choice here. So you can download whatever format you want. So for example, somebody send you Apple Pages document, you can head to iCloud, then open Pages, upload this Apple Pages document, and then you will be able to download this straight away as Microsoft Word, and you can continue your workflow in Microsoft Word if you prefer that method. All right, so that's the way. Simply head to iCloud.com and then you can edit any Apple format on your Windows or Chrome OS machine. I hope today's tutorial was helpful, please consider subscribing to my little YouTube channel for more tech tips and I will see you in the next video. Bye!